Ciao, amici. It's been a while, and I'm happy to be back. I have a little something to do today that's uh, kind of different, and uh, you haven't seen me in a while, and uh, I've been kind of staying around the house and watching what I've been eating, and that's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, I, got a, I got a dish today that's very tasty, and it's, uh, it's kind of what you would consider in line with watching what you eat and putting healthy and trying to not overeat, okay? I've been on a little diet along with my wife and Mary, and we've been cooking together, and uh, anyway, I've been doing a lot, so I'm gonna start this. It's called, it's a st zucchini stuffed with shrimp, okay? And I already cut the zucchini in half, and I am going to hollow it out in order to uh, give me some room to put what I need in there, the stuffing. All right, simple. Just take a, a little paring knife and go around like so, and you kind of make an outline. And that way you can get a spoon and just kind of scrape it all out. The pulp that I'm pulling out will be, I like to just start in the center. The pulp that we've taken out is going to be utilized in the stuffing, along with some seasoning, some herbs, and everything to try and kick up the flavor without throwing a ton of cheese in there, which unfortunately on this particular diet that I'm on, uh, you, can't, uh, you can't have much cheese. So it's, uh, and me being Italian, that's really slap in the face. <laughs> Just kind of outline and be careful you don't uh, break the, out the exterior. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much all that we're going to get out of here. And I'm going to chop that up. Let me turn the stove top on to get that heating up. Uh, the, also involved in this is a pretty good bit of portion control. Okay. So. It's not a, when you talk about Louisiana and eating shrimp, you're talking about eating uh, pounds of boiled shrimp. Well, this is a little bit different. This is four ounces of peeled uh, and deveined shrimp that I'm gonna chop to make it uh, blend well and mix well when we do the, um, when we do the stuffing. Just cut them into like bite-sized type pieces like that. I have the stove on, so the fire is uh, heating up the skillet. So this really doesn't take very long, okay, once you get your things prepped up, which I have a lot already prepped up in advance. Chop my onions, chop some, uh, some uh, uh, Roma tomatoes and kind of de-seeded them, so, and uh, they blend well with the, with the shrimp and the onions and all. So it just makes a nice little stuffing, minus, uh, Minus, like I was saying earlier, minus cheese. But there we go. All right, now I'm going to put a little dash of uh, pan spray in here and uh, to kind of uh, lubricate it. We're not allowed to have oil in this diet as well. And uh, I'm going to wipe it out a little bit, like so, and put approximately a tablespoon or so of diced onion. Small, finely diced. Let that get started. I have some seasonings that I'm gonna have to go in with this along the way of preparation and uh, to kind of give it as much flavor as you can, which is very important. First will go in the onion, and I'm going to let it try to get a little soft and maybe get a little color to it, very little though. All right, now, I got my zucchini, I'm going to chop that up some right now, just a little bit of the bigger pieces that remain. Zucchini has a lot of water, so it's going to throw a good bit, and that's okay. Uh, it'll keep the uh, the onions and all from uh, getting too brown, since 
we don't have a lot of shortening in the skillet. We're going to do the shrimp next. We'll give it a second longer. We're soft now. You can tell that these uh, vegetables have gotten soft. You can see they're kind of wilting in color uh, in texture. And uh, so the shrimp, which don't take any time at all to cook, are going to go in now as well. And also, I'm going to throw in some of these uh, diced plum tomatoes to give it a little bit more eh, texture, flavor. Now, you know, I haven't put any type of seasoning in here yet at all. Uh, so I'm going to start that right now. I'm going to add a little pinch of uh, dried thyme, which I like the flavor with seafood. A little bit of onion powder, not a lot, not a lot, just a sprinkle of taste. And same thing with some granulated garlic, also. A little bit. All right, we're moving along. The shrimp are nice and colored, and slide it off the fire for just a second. We don't want to add a little salt without it cooking too, too much. Just a little and a little black pepper. All right. Coming back, I'm turning the fire down a little bit. Okay. What I want to do is let a little bit of this water dry, evaporate out of there. Then I'm going to add something that I just found out about a while back while looking on my phone and trying to research things for, for recipes to substitute for breadcrumbs. And what it is is called nutritional yeast. And it's kind of got the look and texture of breadcrumb. And it's actually got a little flavor to it, but it's not quite cheese now, okay, Parmesan cheese. But it helps when you want to bind something together, you know, and you need, you need it to make a stuffing you can use this. Hmm. Right. Use that. And a little tip, a little bit of beaten egg also. It's gonna go into this. And that's about it. Right. I don't want to let this cook anymore because it's make your shrimp tough. I'm gonna slide it off a second, all right? And I'm gonna sprinkle in one tablespoon, maybe one and a half, and then I'll see if that's all that I'm gonna need, which I believe it will be. The next step that we do after this is simply stuffing our eggplant, our zucchini rather, sorry and um, putting it in the oven and letting it go. It'll only take roughly 10 minutes or so, and uh, you'll be ready to see the results very quickly. This doesn't take long at all, okay? I'm gonna add not even a little bit of egg, beaten egg, to also help with pulling this together. just want to do this uh, for yourself at the end you can uh, you know adjust adjust for flavor you know salt and pepper you know to your liking all right you like it hot add a little dash of cayenne you know and um, get it like you want so relatively easy and uh, quick and you don't really have a lot of time invested in this. And I would suggest that you could eat this with a nice salad and uh, 
call it a lunch, a light lunch. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit more crumb on top and then put it into the oven. Give it a little time with this little tent-like setup. You don't need to cover it completely. You want to let the air out, okay? But cover it from getting too dry. All right. Okay, out of the oven. We have our zucchini stuffed here. And I think it really looks nice. I put a little parsley on top of it to give it a little color. It did throw a little bit of juice, okay, which is is in inevitable, inevitable, uh, but you can just dab it off like that. And as I was saying, served with a nice little salad on a plate, uh, we have a we have a nice meal. And the cook time on this was 10 minutes covered, 10 15 minutes covered, and. 10 minutes uncovered, okay? And dress your salad, and there's your lunch. Thank y'all. And look, I wanted to mention this as well, okay? This dish with made with cheese and breadcrumbs and topped with tomato gravy and mozzarella could be a real nice, as you will, a New Orleans style kind of dish where you're not really so concerned about your calories. <laughs> All right? Thank y'all. And see you till at the next time. Ciao. Ciao.